Hello everyone and welcome to Expect the Ridiculum. Today I'll be watching Demon Slayer Hashira arc episode 2 and 3. The first episode of the new season has introduced us to all of the Hashiras, their mission to awaken the special mark while training the new generation of Demon Slayers. Muzan army is getting stronger and they are after Nezuko. So Hashira must train the units as much as they can, awaken the mark and face Muzan and his army. Now I was really happy to see Nezuko in the previous episode being protected by the Demon Slayers. I doubt she'll be joining the training, although it looks like one of the Hashiras, Gyu Tomiyoka, have refused to train other Demon Slayers and is not interested in awakening the mark. Now I suspect that this episode will reveal his backstory, which definitely will be interesting as we never actually heard much of his backstory before and judging by his sad expression every time we see him and the empty look on his eyes whatever has happened to him must have been really tragic now if you'd like to help this channel grow leave a like or you can subscribe for new content if you are new to my channel thanks and now without further ado let's tune in okay so this is what has happened by the end of the previous episode and the beautiful crow's voice but you know i'm really happy they made her this offer now she also will be protected i don't think she has conquered the sun yet but perhaps she could learn something from nezuko and accomplish it herself <laughs> the tanjiro for you is much simpler Plus, Tanjiro is very good at reading characters. Yeah, he's alright. I love how he protects her, you know? Even though he's uh, a little bit clumsy, <laughs> he's trying his best. Man, I absolutely love how this crow is dressed. It's beautiful. <laughs> Yes! Let's take him down of our research. That's because the times are changing. Nezuka has conquered the sun. You will have the chance to do so as well. This is Tanjiro's ancestor, I'm sure of it. Because he's wearing the same earrings. But just what sort of connection does those two have? <laughs> so it does look like we are learning about Gyu and his backstory. It's really sad what is happening to him, but. I'm really glad that he has such a wonderful caretaker to look after him. If there is anyone who could convince Giyu to join the training, that's Tanjiro. Might take more than one episode, but I'm sure he will eventually. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> He's too injured to train, let's be honest. <laughs> I think he means Giyu. Hmm. Myself, I'll try to make him something sweet. <laughs> Since this is something I've done many times and it kind of works. Oh, she's going. Two. I think she's gonna prepare something. That's the way girls think, you know. <laughs> ah, onigiri! Awesome. I'm sure he will share it with someone though, because it looks like a large portion. <laughs> Tanjiro! <laughs> He's so persistent. And there's Giyosad meditating. Yeah, I think he figured it out. He looks sad though. He doesn't even think that someone actually is coming to visit him. When in fact, he will look at his face! 
And he's so shocked as well. <laughs> His eyes are so beautiful and yet so sad. There is a reason for that. <laughs> But Giyu, why not you? But why? So sad. You've got to be. And Tanjo, you are the man, you are the man for the job. <laughs> Fully agree on that. <gasps> He's sleeping on the floor. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> so cold though. <laughs> Tanjo is really not giving up and this guy is getting really fed up of him. <laughs> this is great. This is just great. <laughs> Look at the dark circles under Giyu's eyes. He's so fed up. He's an introvert. Like, he's even pestering him when poor Son is trying to get a bath outside the restroom. Tanjiro. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on the outcome of the conversation. Don't I know him from somewhere? I feel like I've seen him, not as a demon slayer? Somewhere in the past. Wow, I never saw him smiling and laughing. What her technique? Oh, that's unlucky. It's beautiful. Gosh, these tests are brutal indeed. So that's what have happened to you. That's a really difficult situation. Wait! Isn't his yukata resembling the one of Sabito? But there's got to be a reason for that. But we've seen him fight and he's really, really strong, so why would he say that now? Does he not know his? Does he not know his own worth? That's right. That's where I saw him. saved his life and Giyu doesn't even know about it he's so similar to Giyu I thought exactly But he's so strong, he shouldn't feel that way. Oh, 
いい人だった。誰よりも。メスランガコ。生き様だった。俺が死んだらよかったんじゃないかと思った。でも。うん、炭治郎。Don't you cry here? Hashira in Narma de Giu Sanga, Doreda Kiju was hit to say, Hatakia get a kitanoka. And he tried so, trained so hard. Go on, Tanjiro, you're the only one. Finally stopped and realized something. Oh, so he remembered this situation. This is so sad, like. You drowned yourself in the spa. Trained and trained. And you pushed those memories, those good memories away. And all you felt was pain. Didn't she have a red yukata? Is that why his yukata is red? I honestly think he's wearing both yukatas as a tribute to dead sister and Sabito. Tanjiro? But we have a breakthrough. Oh no. Oh no. You joined the training? Are you listening, Tanjiro? Oh, <laughs> <His face. laughs> Oh my god. They are actually. Oh, yeah. She can forever control her emotions. Behind those big, beautiful eyes, there is so much sadness hidden within. Just like Gyu's eyes. Is that because she's taking part in the research? Or because she struggles to control her emotions? Oh, she looks up to her so much. Oh, that makes her happy. <laughs> Indeed. A demon who killed her sister. And there's a shrine behind her. And the way to kill that demon. Oh. Wow. So, the good thing is that Tanjiro literally managed to convince Gyu Tamioka to join the Hashira training. So we were gonna have a proper, fully trained water Hashira and a way to get the mark and smack Musan's army. On top of that, I think in the next episode, episode 3, which I'm going to watch straight after this one, we will find out Kano's backstory. And the reason, and and the reason for, her, and the reason why she struggles to control her emotions. It looks like she's like suppressing them all the time, which can be good because all this pent up anger she's taking on demons. But that's not the way to live, right? I mean, you look into her eyes; they're always so empty. She never seemed like actually happy, does she? I'm curious about it. I want to find out what's going to happen. Well, the boys are training really hard. <laughs> Recover Tanjiro joins the Hashira arc. Yay! 
Panjiro! Off to another murderous training. <laughs> he just always survived. <laughs> He's so excited! <laughs> wow. He's just something else. But then, he's just starting training, but obviously he's... He's wearing rocks. And he's doing it faster. He's got more stamina, more energy. He's happy. Ah, oh, yum yum. Mm. <laughs> Poor Tanjiro, he has so many wounds and scars now. <laughs> oh my god, straight up villain. <laughs> I'm not jealous at all. I'm not jealous at all. I'm not jealous at all. Don't let Uzui hear that. <laughs> He knows he's harsh, but they are running out of time, aren't they? Tony, 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 What's going on? It's the demons. Oh gosh, they are there. <gasps> totally scared me, Dad. I believed you! <laughs> no, wait, there really is something out there. The pet of ring, an alarm. Definitely something is there hidden, hidden in the shadows. Four! But is it upper or lower four? Either way, four is not good, right? <laughs> I love that Uzumi is painting his nails. It's so cool, you know? He's so flashy. <laughs> Hanjiro doing extra training. He's so badass. Oh my god, there's so many six-packs. Never seen so many six-packs in one anime. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tanjiro, <laughs> spare them. Give them some sort of hope that, you know, they could probably evade at least. Wow. Do you know, seeing them exercise so hard kind of wants me to exercise too. Is that strange? I've been slacking lately, so I've got all this energy pent up. I need to exercise. Oh wow, he really cares about them a great deal. So yeah, we don't know who won this contest. 
But he already said yes. <laughs> oh. Tricky question because you have not been listening, Mr. <笑>それは打ち止めだ。つまり、お前がその追加を食べれば、お前は俺に勝つことになる。それで俺が柱稽古に参加すれば、お前はなんとか。最後まで食べろ。<laughs> I love the cute way he's eating. <laughs> Wait, after all, he's slightly smaller than Giyu. So I'm guessing he has smaller stomach capacity too. But still, how did he manage to fit it all in? <laughs> Don't know. Oh, nice seeing this though. Well, someone has to train them as soon as possible to at least be able to defend against the lower ranks. Well, you're lucky that you haven't got trapped inside. It's dangerous. I tell you what is behind those doors. Death. Gosh. What if you call all of the demons to that castle so that he can go on a patrol and feel Nezuko's presence in presence of all of those dem demons that have remained sort of intact and haven't drank the blood. That definitely is the case. Best they can do is train, get the mark. Oh, they are going to fight. I think. Yes, <laughs> I knew. So they're gonna fight and hope that one of them will awake the mark. Oh, Tanjiro is such a sweetheart. <laughs> the taking care of him like of a little brother. <laughs> oh. He can't do it on his own. He's not ready yet. Oh my god, have you seen his <laughs> smile? <laughs> wow. It's a good training, actually. Wow. Oh. Oh, this is going to be really hard. One down. Come on, Tanjiro, you can do it. Oh. 
Oh dear. None of them. Not good. Uzuita, <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh my god, Tanjiro is so badass, but so is Uzui, as we know. Look at Uzui, he's so happy he can finally fight. And Tanjiro giving hope to all of these people. <laughs> I love the music in the background as well. あいら引退した俺にここまでやられやがって。強がりも言えねえのかよ。俺たちじゃ無理っす。元柱相手なんて身が重いっす。おいおい、俺はお前らをビビらすために稽古したんじゃねえぞ。柱や鎌戸だら
if upper rank four is reappearing again, that means that someone has replaced him. And that's even scarier because we, were fo we thought that all the demons that have been defeated are gone. But what if Muzan is replacing them just like that? There will always be more and more powerful demons against Hashiras. And it takes so much training to replace a Hashira. Even a former Hashira Uzui with his iron arm gun is able to handle Tanjiro. Granted, without using techniques, but still. That only shows and proves how powerful Hashiras are. And replacing one is not easy. Now there is one Hashira down, which I guess Tanjiro will be taking that spot. But is Tanjiro ready? I think he might be ready at the end of this Hashira training arc, which I'm looking forward to. I can't help but think that it would be nice if they could also train Nezuko or train with Nezuko. After all, she has conquered the sun and she can use her powers. But I don't know what it takes for her to regenerate the powers except the sleep. Obviously, if she drank the blood, she would completely lose herself and become a servant of Muzan, which is something I'm really worried about because what if someone tricks her and she drinks the blood and she turns? There's so much that could have happened. No, I don't want any spoilers. It's a shame that I haven't started reacting before, so I haven't reacted to any previous season of the Demon Slayer. I didn't have, chan I didn't have chance to refresh my memory. But sure as hell, I'm really happy that we are here now and I'm watching this anime with you. Having friends to enjoy this masterpiece with. It's just a wonderful, wonderful feeling. So thanks so much for watching with me. And a massive thank you for everyone supporting me on this YouTube journey. And big thank you to my patrons, particularly Isaac and the rest of you. Always liking, commenting, supporting me on Patreon as well as on the YouTube channel. For those of you who doesn't know, I do have a Patreon. You can find there over 150 videos in uncut, full length and 100% opacity, early released, which means that we are far ahead with every single episode on my Patreon. And there as well, you can find some Patreon exclusive videos videos which you won't find on my youtube channel and you can even get a shout in my video so i truly encourage you to join my patreon and discover the rest of the perks or simply join my youtube community where you'll get a special badge prior to replying to comments and access to special budget all the funds that i raise from patreon and youtube goes towards my subscriptions for video editing programs cosplay or just dressing up in general and everything else involved with video making please stay with me as we are going to get better Thanks so much everyone and see you in the next episode. Bye!